It is always little things that we must keep our mind on, our eyes on, our ears open to. It's the little things, the smallest things. For even there, one shall find truth in the most smallest of things. There shall be truth. I bring this up and I only speak to this for the sake of truth. For the sake of truth as it is, as it has been, and as it shall be. The truth as it can be, which is only truth. There is a shortness, a shortcoming. an incompleteness, a lack of thoroughness. When it comes to combining all that there is, the truth that there is, combining our faith and our belief within all that we do within this world, you see it. You see it. it's a lack of completeness. It is the construction of walls to divide, to try to put things in separate categories as if it is not the exact same truth which speaks to them all, so thus they are all in the same category. They are all subject to truth. They cannot escape it. So the wall is only within yourself, within your mind, within your belief, within your faith, within your heart even, within your soul, I suppose, and with all the strength of your being. There are walls created. As if truth does not go through those walls. As, it is, as if it is only by way of truth that those walls exist, that they can be formed and created. Even in a falseness, it's still truth there to speak to them, just as in a lie. It is only by way of truth that a lie can exist. It is only by way of truth that a lie can exist. Are there many things that can be brought up about the Bible and those who believe in such and believe in the the statement, the belief, the faith that is the Word of God, that is of divine creation, divine guidance? As all things, the divinity is within it. But it does not mean that it is divine. Not as it has to be on par with the divine. For once again, truth is within all things, even a lie. It is a truth which speaks to the lie. It tells a lie what it is. It knows. It knows the lie. Once again, I only bring this up for the sake of truth. For 
the walls must come down in all their existence and all their being. The walls which are there to take away from the truth that it is all one. So there are no walls. It is all one. Riddle me this. The special nature that is believed to be imbued upon man. We were made from the dust of the earth. This brings up two questions, at least. One at the minimum, but two at least. It speaks that we are made of dust and yet we are more water than we are dust. This is a truth that is known. Why would it speak of its being made from the dust of the earth? And speak not about water, even in a mixture sense, but no, it only speaks of dust, and yet we are more water than we are dust. Why would it say such? So let's move beyond just saying it is in the air. The question is there, then what else would it mean? To only speak of dust, but not of water, in which that is what we are. Why is such, or does it somewhere? And secondly, for as much as we want to separate ourselves from animals to say that we are greater than, we are above, we are special, we are made holy and the same. They are made of the same dust. Although I know not their water content for all the species that exist, I do know of man's. And their insides and their operations is the same as ours. Why is that such? Why do we operate by the same mechanisms as the animals? And I will stay away from the scientific aspect of evolution and alike. We will stay biblical and I ask you, why are we made just like the animals? The same content, the same operation, the same functions. With the brain, the only difference we hold is that they don't have a mind a mind with awareness, and yet we are like we are, we are not aware of the animal that we are. That's interesting.